Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. I will do... Uh, Oops, I just Navaldi myself. I will reenact another part of the Laura Ingram interview. Oh. I will play both roles. Oh, Thank okay. you. Thank okay. You. Thank you. That is the beginning of it. Laura Ingram. Why didn't you just hand over the classified documents when they requested them? I mean, they requested them. You could have handed them over. Probably save yourself a lot of trouble. Trump. First of all, I didn't have to hand them over. But second of all, I would have done that. We were talking and all of a sudden they raided Mar-a-Lago. Jody, is any part of that true? No. no. Any? Not a, not not a, a little. Not, not even. Okay. Not a lick. All right. Okay, uh, Kelly McEnany. Oh she has a sound. Oh okay. Um, she is uh, apparently she has a, a major sad over the. Is it historians and political scientists mm-hmm. uh, rank President uh, Trump dead last among uh, our president's worst Trump. president oh. ever and in the history? She's ever. a graduate of Harvard Law and and mm. calls that elitist. Ah, I see. Was she talking about those uh, elitists again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. A new ranking, and I'm going to add, in my view, a highly questionable ranking of presidents, is turning heads after Biden came in higher than both Donald Trump and Ronald Reagan Mm. in his wildest dreams. The survey was done by the Presidential Greatness Project, who claimed to be the foremost organization of social science experts in presidential politics. They may be the foremost example of the disconnect between ivory tower academia and real people. Mm. Ah, I see. It says the <laughs> chick from Ivy Tower mm-hmm. yeah. Academia. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Did she give that degree back to Harvard or? Oh, God, no. Okay. One more. Abe Lincoln ranked first. Okay, fair. Then comes Obama at seventh, and Biden came in 14th, <laughs> actually beating Ronald Reagan, who came in 16th, and Trump dead last. Look, <laughs> Lisa, where to begin? This is infuriating in so many ways. 154 respondents. They are the ivory tower elites who in no way represent the view of the American people. Let me make uh, one prediction. Uh, Joe Biden will end up being much higher <laughs> at the end of the day. I, you know, as we keep talking about, Carlos, he is provably had one of the most successful presidencies ever. Mm-hmm. And the fact during that, during one yeah. of the most difficult times in the world where everything is thrown at him, where I say that. He's either got to be pro-Israel or, or, or pro-Palestine. He's either got to be pro-immigration or anti-immigration. He's either got to be pro-drill for oil or anti-drill for oil. He's got to measure up to everybody's wants and needs because nobody's adult enough to go, listen, I can't get what I want this election, but this guy's much better than a guy that blew it with COVID, that blew it with tax cuts for billionaires, that, that blew it with his relationship to dictators. He's clearly the better president than Trump is by every measure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Outside of January 6th and refusing a t- peaceful transfer of power, that might have put a dent in Trump's ratings. A little, you know, I refuse to leave office and lie about election. That could have hurt his chances a little bit. I'm just saying. A little bit? I'm just saying. We're fighting against the works. We're the tree people. We're the hobbits. We're the elves. Line up. <laughs> Ooh, vote blue. Ooh, no matter who. Ooh, vote blue. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's not glamorous. Right? I use Everybody your, I use your analogies every week. I just, I love them. Love yeah. it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um. Yes. You. I. It, it, you had some thoughts, mm-hmm. as you do. Oh, actually, I saved a, a couple of tweets for you. I got uh, thoughts. EC tweets. I've thoughts. been talking a lot lately about my belief that all sorts of current events have been part of a weaponized disinformation act- efforts by bad actors, not just the Hunter Biden saga. Now that we know Russia has its bloody dirty hands all over this, I hope folks will start uh, to question who's behind efforts to undermine Biden's re-election campaign in other ways, because I'm watching the disinformation happen in real time and folks on the left are falling for it in huge numbers. Um, I know you mm-hmm. don't have any thoughts on that, but no. if you... I have mucho, mucho thoughts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've, you know, God, I don't want to be a conspiracy theory, but it's really odd that all of these wars that Biden supposedly started happened during his administration. <laughs> like, you know, Trump softened the blow for Putin. Like, listen, when I did, when I don't win, you know, I didn't win. So I need you to do something with Hamas, fund them, start a war in Israel. Yeah. And I need you to invade. That's Ukraine, not a conspiracy. Okay? He do did fund things for me. <laughs> He did fund and train Hamas. Like you're right, Carlos. Yep. It's like the biggest, dumbest plot. You don't have to be a conspiracy theorist, right? This yeah, is yeah. The, it, the, the timing of these so-called starts of the invasions is really odd, and not to mention what's happened with the 
Gomer and all those te- people and the guy being like high ties to Russian intelligence yeah. to make up lies about Hunter Biden. It's all just orchestrated to just try to kill Biden. You know, it's it's a, akin to voter suppression, to taking away voting boxes. It's, it's all, anything the Republicans can do to kind of cheat and make it horrible for Americans so that they can win, yeah. they will do. They are orcs, like I said. <laughs> they have no souls. They, they just have to win. Yeah. They're made of fire and hell. Yeah, and on cue, we were saying Tulsi Gabbard is uh, apparently on uh, Trump's sh- VP shortlist. Um, She's hot. Uh, she... <laughs> A lot of people want to look at her. Look at her from Hawaii, <laughs> but growing you... in the sun. <laughs> CNH, Tulsi Gabbard. Ew. You retweeted her saying, uh, they expect us to put the lives of my brothers and sisters in uniform to protect them, and they're not even willing to do that for themselves. And Amy McGrath responded yep. and said, hey, Tulsi, I didn't realize you didn't deploy to Afghanistan, but I did twice, and I can tell you our yep. NATO brothers and sisters were right there alongside us for two decades. Yeah, she's always been a Putin apologist, and, and where she aligns, and what what's out there is that they align with Putin because he's a white Christian nationalist. You know that white people need to believe in God and no gays and this and that. And she still, you know, she hates gay people. Yeah. She tries to hide it and tries to come off as a moderate. But she was raised by a wacko, yeah. wacky, churchy, churchy, goofy goof. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> so she, that that stuff doesn't leave you. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, the other thing I was saying, the speculation this morning is about, you know, that Nikki Haley, because Joe Manchin's not going to run on no labels, that she might do that. And I thought she's completely full of then about the threat Donald Trump presents and, you know, her talking tough about Putin. She knows that that exactly would help Donald Trump get back in office. Yeah, I, I, it's I mean, weird the people her, putting egos, whether it's Bobby Kennedy or whoever, putting their ego, Dean Phillips, who won't get out, you know, putting their own egos ahead of our country at, at I think, our most perilous hour. Yeah, is it an actor? Does she truly believe she can siphon Trump votes away from Trump and help what is considered to be a democracy? Because she kind of, you know, with her job as ambassador, I think she kind of really believes that this country can't go his way. And then maybe falsely or altruistically believes that if she runs no label, it will help Biden. Unfortunately, it probably won't. I don't I don't get her motives of being a senator as sinister and or financially backed as RFK. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that, I, you know, if, if he wants to be in public, he's going to have to be able to take that. All right. Oh, my God. That voice like Chuck, <laughs> like like glass claws. Like the X-Men, the Wolverine on a chalkboard. That's okay. Robert F. Kennedy. Hi, I'm Wolverine. I'm your teacher. <laughs> I saved this one for you, too. Jen Rubin said, thank you. Uh, I am so sick of washed-up 40-year-old white dudes playing fantasy football with our democracy. And I speak as a uh, washed-up 40-year-old, don't I? Jenny? Yes, 40-something. 40-something. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, as Bob Seska says, playing grab ass with democracy when we are just, I, I, I can't even overstate the dangers, I, I think, of where we are, you know, nationally and internationally. Yeah, this is, this is grab the sandbags, shore up the levee, oh. the, the gross flood is coming, it's, everybody's it's a new gotta analogy. participate. You don't get fancy. Don't get fancy. Just go grab a sandbag, shove it in the hole. A stick go a get finger another in that one. No, Shut up. That's what you need to De Niro more people. Into <laughs> grab a sandbag, shove it in the hole, don't be stupid. <laughs> Kennedy, what are you doing? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Haley, what are you doing? Don't be stupid. <laughs> you seen this guy? Grab a, grab a bag. You uh, tweeted, it's unconscionable we would spend money on Ukraine when we could spend that money on never back down sneakers. Con men are going to con and markers are going to be marks. <laughs> the mark's going to be marks. Yeah, I mean, it's... I, and by the way, these things aren't even made yet. No. <laughs> First of all, they're like, oh, they're sold out. They aren't even made yet and probably never will be. They're like, oh, they have little pieces shipping of stolen date documents. in July. Yeah. There's stolen document parts right on the tongue. You just pull it up, you can see r- Russian secrets. <laughs> United States secrets. Right on the tongue. Lace it up. I mean, <laughs> that's, I, where he, that's where he got rid of all the papers and put them into the sneakers. Yes, exactly. They're um, called hikeys. They're kind of like Nikes, but they're hikeys. You can walk a long way in these. Great souls. The best I've ever seen. By the way, thank you for retweeting Mark, who said, if Fonnie Willis had a conflict of interest because a man might have paid for a meal or a flight, imagine how serious it would be if a Supreme Court justice heard cases related to an election his wife had tried to overturn. Mm-hmm. Not to mention has taken $11 billion worth of free yep. meals and RVs and God knows what else, right? And Cokes with Pew Harris. 
Pardon me? <laughs> and Cokes with pube hairs on them. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. He loves that six pack of Coke with pubes. Um, by the There's way. This is Warren. Speaking of the Hunter Biden thing, did you see that it was um, lines of sawdust that they yeah. said were cocaine? Co- it's sawdust. Yeah, and somebody else's photo. It wasn't even Hunter Biden a <laughs> photo. Of... They're so god. We're Fox in the stupidest timeline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have the I have my T-shirt, which is the Carlos Sales Rocky, Rocky statement, which was, "How did the world get so stupid?" Yep. Because here we are. Um, so yeah, you uh, also retweeted uh, Fonnie Willis having to testify about her relationship with one of her prosecutors while the wife of the Supreme Court justice is in testifying about her relationship with QAnon is an absolute miscarriage of justice. Um, yeah, it, it is. I, I, okay. And, and like I say, we are, uh, uh, this, this is all hanging in the balance, what the Supreme Court decides, right, on immunity? Yeah, it is. And, it, you know, this is why the Republicans were, were devious enough to say, leave it to the courts. They didn't want to impeach Trump when twice he should have been impeached, impeached for Ukraine and obviously for January 6th. And that's why they were saying, leave it to the court so that we could look like the bad guys. Yeah. They're trying to, to dissuade a political opponent from running through the courts. But that's what you said to do. Yeah. Yeah. You elected a criminal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. They think we, we're the ones with no short term mm-hmm. memory. What they just said.